If you're a self-taught artist and have trouble getting honest feedback on your art, you should definitely be using this app. No doubt about it. I mean, even if you're not a self-taught artist, this is just too cool to not use. Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this Palafel Pack September 2021 unboxing. As always, the full description of each item in this month's box will be listed in the box below. We also have a giveaway ending very soon for a free August Sketchbox box, so stay tuned for that if you're interested and would like this last chance to participate. So let's go ahead and get started because unfortunately there is no sticker this month, but to make up for it, the first thing we have here is this Holbein acrylic gouache set that retails for $21.25. Now if you've seen this video of mine featuring the Sketchbox pet box edition you'll know that I loved these paints and unfortunately my camera cut me off during the swatching but we received the colors carmine lemon yellow sky blue jet black and titanium white which I personally love when we receive primary sets of any medium but I ended up swatching them on this legion paper aqua mini paper pad hot press retailing for $1.99 that we received as a surface we also have the crescent watercolor board as an additional surface retailing for $12.57. I really really like these because they don't warp but I never tried their watercolor board I don't think. We've gotten their illustration board before I know that for a fact so this will definitely be interesting I wonder how much of a difference it is. Next is this Princeton three-quarter inch wash brush retailing for $13.50. Definitely feels durable and looks like it'll hold some good water. We also have this Robert Simmons brush which is apparently a professional artist brush and a apparently guaranteed for life and only retailing at eight dollars they also sent a derwent graphic pencil retailing for two dollars and six cents and a kneaded eraser retailing for a dollar and thirty cents i'm actually really excited because i wanted to buy a new eraser anyways so that ended up working out perfectly and lastly a six well paint tray retailing for a dollar and nine cents moving on to the art I decided I wanted to paint Akasha, the Queen of the Damned. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly suggest that you watch it. But as I have mentioned before, I have teamed up with Da Vinci Eye to show you the awesome features of this versatile art tool. Disclaimer, I have been using this app since February before we partnered together, so I once again want to assure you that my opinions on this art app are 100% as I have purchased it myself earlier this year. DaVinci Eye is a digital art projector much like the camera Lucida except it's in an app form and it does not cost 100 plus dollars and does more than just project an image using your phone's camera onto a drawing or painting surface. I explained the classic and AR modes in this video here of Nancy Downs, so check that out if you'd like. Now I know a lot of people hate tracing and some even consider it cheating, but you do not need to use this app for tracing. For example, today I want to show you how I use the breakdown feature. I don't know about you, but I know that sometimes determining values can be quite a difficult guessing game. Well, this app has helped me develop my eye in identifying values with this breakdown mode. I simply click on draw, choose my reference photo, and then I use classic mode because I won't be using the projecting feature, and then I click on the tools button. You'll have a little menu pop up, and then I scroll over to the breakdown button. I turn on breakdown mode, then I like to go either four or five steps depending on the mood or how much work or how much I want to break down the photo. Normally, I like to lower the exposure a bit and then get started. Now, not only did it turn the photo into a black and white photo, but it broke it down into areas of value. I like to go back and forth between the original photo and the breakdown mode because I want to actually learn what I'm seeing and understand how the values were separated in color and how to see the grays in color better, if that makes any sense. Proving once again that this app can help improve your eye as an artist and your artwork in the long run if used correctly. DaVinci Eye is available for use on both iPhone and Android devices, so look them up now. So let's go over my thoughts and opinions as I paint this portrait portrait. So long story short, I absolutely love this box. And I love this box because I have grown to love gouache, but not just any gouache. If you've grown with me, then you'll know that originally I was an acrylic paint artist. I loved it. And I put the acrylic aside because I wanted to explore other mediums 
and because I hated how the colors could sometimes change so drastically. I didn't even know acrylic gouache was a thing until about last year maybe or maybe two years ago now and it changed my life. I never bought it or experienced it until the Sketchbox Special Edition box because Holbein being an artist grade paint can be so expensive and I just had that fear so I never bought it. But I watched many videos of people playing with it and honestly, now that I had a chance to use them, I'm ready to invest in them. It moves, reacts, blends, and feels like traditional gouache. However, it's water resistant once it's dry, like acrylic paint. And it dries to a gorgeous matte finish, which is truly one of a kind to experience. I mean, true, you can add matte medium to acrylic paint to give it that like matte finish, but it's just, you cut the work in half. It's just so awesome. And it does not shift in color tone from liquid to dry color, which is amazing because that was one of my main things. And it's compatible with all other water soluble media, which is a freaking bonus. So can you tell I'm biased towards this? Because I totally am, 100%. Sure, it might get tricky to use, but once you get the hang of it, honestly, nothing else compares. Anyways, the surfaces we got this month were actually pretty good. I really enjoyed the board. It really absorbed the paint so nicely and I'm looking forward to using them again. Plus, I love cotton paper. But as for the paper pad, I mainly plan on using them for swatches to keep in my drawer because I'm not a fan of painting small. But you know what? These could actually be really cool for thumbnail painting. So there's an idea. Maybe I'll try that out. The brushes did their thing and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this Robert Simmons brush is all about. They both hold water great though and I didn't see any shedding so that's a win for me. The kneaded eraser did what it's supposed to do. It worked out great. I really have no complaints there. Same thing with the pencil. Pretty, you know, generic. I liked it. It was cool. But okay, real quick, we reached 500 subscribers, so I'll be giving away the materials in the August 2021 Sketchbox box along with a Halloween themed sticker to a random subscriber. I will be choosing a winner on YouTube Live on Sunday the 12th. I was supposed to do the announcement at 3 p.m., but it's looking like it might be later on in the evening. I'll figure out how to set up a stream time and hopefully you could join me. This would be your last chance to participate. All you have to do is comment comment a pumpkin emoji in this video or any video that I have previously uploaded and you can only enter once per video. Overall, this was an amazing month. It definitely made up for last month's box in my opinion. I haven't posted an update on that one yet because I've rarely touched them, so that could probably tell you how that's gonna go. But again, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing and interacting with my videos. It really means a lot to me. Also, I restarted my Instagram, so if you don't see me on there, I will post a link to the new account probably in the next video. Shout out to Anna Downia for checking up on me. If I pronounced that username right, Christine, you are so amazing. And that honestly made me so happy. Okay, well, let me know your thoughts on this box below. I'm really excited that we got this again because on our last Sketchbox box, we also received a gouache and it was green. So it kind of just completes the set in kind of like in a way. I'm really, really excited to be investing in more colors so yeah, super excited anyways thanks again and and i hope to see you next time bye